Hey guys and gals, it's sweet Project Cars here with cool trick and affordable ways for the do-it-yourselfer. Hey Julio, tell everybody where they can get all the stuff for this video. En el show más de la de video para todas las Thank you very much. Now, folks, do you remember this video right here? Great subscribers asked us if an egg like that comes from a chicken will hurt your clear coat. We didn't leave the brake fluid on long enough and will WD-40 harm the paint? So what we're going to do is we're actually going to put it on and leave it on for about 24 hours or more. It is Tuesday right now in the morning and the video won't come out to you till Thursday. We're going to do this side with those three items and this side is going to be ceramic coated. We don't know what will happen. If the ceramic coating holds up and protects it, that's a bonus. That's huge. Huge. We're going to clean this real quick with 99%. Now, also, I want to say to anybody out there, if you plan on funding us through our PayPal funding and you don't want your real name used when we give you a big, fat shout out, just message us and we'll use your YouTube username for your shout out. Let's clean this real quick with our 99%. Now this is what you want it to sound like right here. That means it's really, really clean. In order to keep these wet and keep everything inside them, we're going to put a bead of silicone all the way around. All right, we have our brake fluid right here. And as I mentioned, this is not something that you guys and gals can do on your own vehicles to find out if it's safe. There you see it's all puddled up in there nice. All right, this is a WD-40 can that's lost its propellant. So we're just going to pour it out. And last but not least, chicken egg. So we're going to ceramic coat this side over here and do the same exact thing we just did here on this side. All right, time for the ceramic coating. We'll let that dry up and then buff it out and then we'll do the same thing we did on the other side of that over there. Okay, we've got to let that dry for about 15-20 minutes and then we'll buff it out. All right, we've got it all on. We've ceramic coated that side of the tape. That'll have to set for 24 hours or so. But also don't forget, our video will be coming up on the best motor oil. Make sure you go and comment right now which motor oil you think will be the number one motor oil that you can buy for your vehicle. Go do it. Don't put it off now. All right, guys and gals, it's been just a little bit over 24 hours, and this is what we have. You can see the egg is uh, starting to shrivel up pretty good, and the brake fluid is still in there, and the WD-40 actually has evaporated some so it's telling us that there's quite a bit of h2o in it and then we're going to go over to this side which has been ceramic coated and apply that and let that set for 24 hours so first off we're going to get this off and see where we're at and we just threw the ceramic coating thing in to see because we want to know we don't know. We want to see if it'll protect the paint. I mean, it's basically liquid glass, so let's see what happens. But let's get that stuff off there first and see what it looks like. All right, this is why you never throw away your old rags and stuff, because you never know. It might be cleaning an egg off your car. And we'll just clean it out from the inside. We'll leave the glue on and take that off in a little bit. And here's our egg for the next side over there. Did 
There is no damage from that egg. Few scratches, Julio needs to do something about that. But you can see the, the it's as good as it was before. Brake fluid. And it's a little bit more dull compared to that one's got the shine still to it. So there was a little reaction, but that's leaving it on for 24 hours. WD-40 looks as good as new, so the brake fluid definitely dulled it down a little bit, but, but nothing that everybody makes it out to be, even with these setting on that long. Now we're going to see what happens with the ceramic coating. So we'll get that part done and we'll show you what it looks like when we're done putting everything on it. Just remember what you're seeing here. I better be careful when I set this here. I don't want to scratch Julio's paint. That's just a joke. <laughs> and the brake fluid. All right, we'll see you in 24 hours. All right, guys and gals, the ceramic coated side is ready to be cleaned off. We have our egg, brake fluid, and WD-40. And you can see the egg is looking mighty nasty there. It's been a long, quite a few hours dried up and starting to look bad so let's uh take that off there and see where we're at Now what we're going to do on this one, just so we can get it cleaned up quicker, quicker, we're going to spray some 99% on it, that way it'll come right off. Doesn't seem to be any damage whatsoever to any of those and I'll bring the camera up closer for you here in a minute getting more glue residue coming off there than anything But I can say this, it did not affect the ceramic coating whatsoever. And it looks like we have a much better shine on the brake fluid area than we did on the opposite side. All right, there is the WD-40. There is the, and it's not completely clean, but there's the brake fluid. And there is the egg. So the ceramic coating held up under all that, plus it protected from the brake fluid even more than not having it on there. So that was a test for us as well. So that's pretty cool. So there you go, my friends. If you're wondering if any of those products Get on your car for over 24 hours. There's your proof. Good to go. Have a great day.